Hello, Kit Crown here, your mortgage consultant for life. Welcome to this week's Mortgage Moments video. I will have a new two to three minute video on a mortgage or financial fitness topic every week. So please make sure to follow my YouTube channel or visit the video section on my website, kitcrown.com for the latest video. This week I'm continuing a three part series that will help you understand how much money you will need to purchase a home and where that money can come from. Today, we're going to tackle closing costs. Next week, we'll wrap it up with prepaid items. Let's define what we mean by the term closing costs. I like to refer to it as money we spend to buy money. I know that sounds a little stupid, but that's exactly what it is. And it all goes to cover the various services that have to be performed in order to put the pieces of the mortgage puzzle together so that the lender is as certain as they can be that you'll pay them back and that your mortgage is properly secured by your home. You'll be introduced to these numbers on a document called a loan estimate. So let's explore them in the same order that you'll be introduced to them. Before I do that, though, I want to share a really important and hopefully comforting thought. Only a small amount of these closing costs will be money that's at risk of being lost if you don't close. The majority of these items are only collected if you go to the closing and sign all the papers. Okay, let's jump in. The admin or underwriting fee. That's a charge that comes from the lender that covers the cost for their professional staff who will be reviewing and approving your loan. You can expect that number to be somewhere between $700 and $1,000. Origination fee. That's a charge that's used either to compensate the lender, their profit if you will, or to lower the interest rate that you'll receive. You're not going to see this fee being charged often, and you should always ask for more information to make sure that it's the best option for you in your circumstances. Appraisal fee. This is one of the upfront and at-risk charges, and it's paid to a third-party professional who's going to determine the market value of your new home. Plan on this costing you about $500 for a single-family home. Miscellaneous fees. There are several fees that are collected for things such as a credit report, a document called a flood certification, maybe a verification of employment document, and if you're buying a condo, you may have to pay a fee to the property manager for some information documenting the status of the complex. Altogether, these may come to about $300. The attorney fees. There are several items under this heading. First, the attorney will be the, the attorney you want to have represent you and the bank in the transaction. They will have some additional charges for things such as a title search, possibly a document preparation fee, a courier and wire fee, and altogether these will be about $1,000. There's a big item that you'll have to pay and that's called lender's title insurance. This protects the lender in case there's a future problem with your legal property rights. Recording charges. This is a fee that's paid to the town to record the mortgage note and deed in their local land records and runs about $350. Here are some important takeaways. All of these fees are for valid services. They aren't junk fees like a dealer prep fee or a baggage handling fee. Except for the bank's underwriting fee, they're all going to third parties, so these aren't profit centers for lenders either. Title insurance is the only fee that is based on the loan size and that runs about $4 per thousand. All of the other fees will be about the same no matter what size loan you're taking out. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and remember always that I'm here every day to help solve the problems that living life on life's terms sends your way. Keep my number close by so that you can reach me anytime you need my help or anytime someone you care about needs someone who will care about them as much as I care about you. See you next week.